double recipe here so normally you need three eggs I have six here I pasteurize them all you can check online how to pasteurize them it's quite easy to do just heat them for a few minutes and get them pasteurized because the eggs we'll be using will be raw uh, this is the cream um, some butter and this is my monk sugar I'm using here so I'm using about um, it's about a quarter cup for one recipe or half a cup for uh, a double recipe. I make a double recipe because I have people coming. Cream of tartar, um, dark chocolate, and vanilla. So that's kind of all you need to make your chocolate mousse. I'm going to put the butter into the chocolate and then I'm going to melt the chocolate. Okay. I do the chocolate in the microwave. So you should, you know, heat it up, then take it out, break up the chocolate, mix it up so that um, it doesn't burn because it can burn in the microwave or heat unevenly. So make sure you do that to make sure the chocolate doesn't have a problem. Okay, now we're going to separate the eggs, uh, the yolks from the egg whites. Pasteurized my eggs a little bit, so some of the egg whites might have gotten a little bit cloudy, but it should be okay. But we're just going to separate the eggs, the yolks from the egg whites. Yolks, so they're just mixed up a bit. And then we're going to put the chocolate inside of it. I like to put the chocolate into the egg yolks because it can help it maybe, um, you know, if it gets a little bit hot and maybe just helps it um, pasteurize the eggs just a little bit in case the eggs are pasteurized all the way. So I just kind of like to do that for extra safety. And then just mix it together. Okay, now we're just uh, mix, uh, getting the egg whites so they get to a peak. When they get a bit fluff, and then we'll put some tartar sauce, uh, the cream of tartar in, which I prepared here. We're going to stick the cream of tartar in, help them get really fluffy so they get to a peak. And while we're mixing up the cake, I'm going to add in the sugar, and then I'll add in a bit of vanilla. And you just whip the cream until it becomes hard cream. So next we're going to mix the chocolate mixture in. the egg yolks in it and the chocolate. Egg whites. And just mix it just a little bit. In fact, the egg whites is better um, just to stir it. So we're just going to mix it all up together now. Just completely mixed. And you always have to let chocolate mousse sit for about two hours in the refrigerator for it to really set. Just mix it all in and it will be ready to go. Now you can put your uh, chocolate mousse in a glass 
and serve it to your guests and they won't even know that it's sugar-free chocolate mousse that tastes so good. We really appreciate you listening to this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel where we've got a lot of other great recipes. And also check out our blog on A Bus on a Dusty Road. If you have any questions or comments, we'd sure love to hear from you. And you can contact us at abusonadustyroad.com. Thank you so much for listening.